Hi, and welcome to the part 5 of the series of the Enhanced E-Commerce Implementation. In this series, we will look at why we implement Enhanced E-Commerce, but also how we do it. And in this part 5, we're looking at how to register impressions and clicks on banners. And you'll get a lot of benefit from watching part 4, because the part 4 is where we really go into depth about every detail, and a lot of it is basically the same in, in the different parts here. But let's jump into this part five, and if you have questions, I'd watch part four. So what is it, this uh, recommendation thing? Well, the thing is we have a lot of banners on websites. We have recommendation, banners, sliders. We have a lot of different kind of promotions on the website. It could be many different areas. And we actually want to know which works. And um, yeah, so that's really, really interesting because when we know what banners work, we can focus on them, improve them, and basically end up earning more money. So the guide here I link to is the Google version of it, and I, I'll explain uh, using that guide. And this is the, the guide I'll start with, the Tech Manager one. So just like in part four, we're gonna add some more data to the data layer. Uh, so we have something called a promo view, and then you have all the promotions here in uh, simply a long JSON array here, and you have these IDs here. And this is how, this is how it works with the impressions. Uh, you can look at the dev guide here where it actually says what data it is and this is the this is the two required uh, data you need and this is the actual ID and name of the promotion so this could be if this like is recommendation it could be like people also saw recommendation or if this is like a banner with like summer sale I said right here you can write summer sale and then you have uh, the actual banner, uh, you know, the actual thing showing inside it, and then you have the position of it. So if you have like one, two, three, four product, you can actually have it there and there, and then it's like two and four. So it's just a way of showing the promotion data. Uh, this can also be used for like, if you have a slider where you have like four banners, well, this would be one, two, three, four, depending on the actual image. Um, so that's how you implement the impressions. Again, in, in Tech Manager, it's, it's actually nearly exactly the same as product views. Uh, you go in here, make a page view, set through your old path and event. This is exactly the same with it here with this tag here, where we have the firing rule up here, we have the URL path here, and yet enable it here, and then you're actually done. Uh, so that's, that's really how easy it is to implement uh, this uh, recommendation thing here. Um, the clicks are a little bit more difficult because uh, what you're going to do here is you have promo click and then you actually going to click which promotion have been clicked. Um, and the actual click data here is again, you see them here, you have the data and this is what you have to uh, have to send. Uh, only the ID is required but it's also very interesting to use of some of the other you know, properties here. And again, this is how it works. and. Um, Yep, so in order to match the clicks, just fire this in the click. Uh, and what you do is you make, a, you make this kind of JavaScript method. Uh, this is, Google called it on promo click. The main point is that when someone actually clicks on the banners, you have to make sure you call this uh, method here. And um, then it will push the data layer to Google and it will update it. So by doing this, you can actually register impressions and clicks really simple. So. Just to go back to the this slide here, uh, if you want to see the full guide, you can go to java.com on the resources, and there's a full guide there. And if you need help implementing, just contact us, we can help a lot. And uh, that, let's see you in part six, uh, where we'll look into some more features of enhanced e-commerce and how to implement them.